In the last nine videos, I've shown you a lot of different skills that really need to be practiced. You have to take all these things and use them, but work slowly. Don't try to climb too high or, or take too big of a tree. Get used to all these things. And when things go wrong in the tree business, things go from bad to worse very quickly. It's one of the most dangerous things you can do. So always be aware of that. Um, having said that, I just want to show you one last thing here. Um, as you start climbing using this taut line hitch that I've showed you, you'll see that the rope will start to work its way to the end. And that can create a dangerous situation. If that knot comes undone, you're going to fall. And a fall from one foot can be as dangerous as a fall from a hundred feet. So any fall needs to be avoided at any cost and the best way to avoid that is to always be aware of everything that's going on. Um, one way to avoid having that knot come undone and getting to the end is to tie very close to the buckle. Tie your taut line hitch very close here. That way you've got all this for it to work in. Of course, once again, as you're climbing, you keep an eye on it. When you see it gets to the end, you retie your knot. Another thing you can do is just make this tail really long, maybe another foot longer than this. When you tie your buckle, leave it a little extra length <clears throat> so that you have that much more for the knot to work out. Um, that's it. Be careful. Work on these skills. Practice them. Move slowly. Don't try to do anything too big. Get used to how all this stuff works. In a few weeks, I'm going to come back with a few more videos, and um, we're going to learn a few more skills, and I'm going to show you how to use all these skills to take down a tree. And that's it. We'll see you in a few weeks. Practice. Be safe. Always remember, safety first. Look at everything. Pay attention to everything. Analyze everything. When things go wrong, why did they go wrong? Figure it out. See you in a little bit. Thanks.